Hey, hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another pet battle video. For this one, we're be playing with yet another gimmick team, this time with a team of all dogs. So, definitely looking forward to this one. Let's go ahead and hop right into this first match here. Start out with a snap trap. Look like he's got an all aquatic family brawler team. Definitely glad to see the variety for the Critter Week. And, uh, yeah, let's see, are you... He might have Tidal Wave. If he's got Tidal Wave, it will actually activate Trap immediately, but more than likely, he's got Rain Dance. Okay, so right here, I think I will just go into my Frostwolf Ghost Pup, because whoever's going to come out here is going to be, you know, stuck in here for a couple turns anyway. All right, let's go for some scratches right here. And yeah, let's keep up the attack. Unfortunate that the trap still has not gone off yet. But that's okay. All right, so right here, I guess I will go ahead and heal up my uh, Curious Wolvar pup. Wow, the trap. I was really hoping of all times it would go off right there. Okay, so trap is still out and about. Let's go for a bite right here, and then probably into a tough and cuddly. Reduce this damage right here. Alright, Beast Racial is active. Let's go ahead and go for another bite right here. It's very unfortunate that the trap went the entire time without going off. Are you serious? Oh my word. What a waste of a trap and a turn. Thank you, Blizzard. Alright, not in a very good spot. The trap is still there. That's hilarious. Alright, so I'm thinking going to go for an avalanche right here. Take advantage. All of that damage. Wow, it crit. That's very nice. Probably not in my best interest to swap out. I should probably just go ahead and take the death right here. Okay, I'll take that. He went ahead and used his blood and water. Oh wow, beautiful. It went off right away. I'm definitely okay with that. If I were him, I'd go for a surge right here. There it is. Goodbye, Snarly. I do really like Snarly. Definitely the best out of the four crocodiles that you can get from that little daily. Alright, so the Hydraling is faster than me, so shell armor is going to be quite the nuisance. I'm still going to be able to do some pretty decent damage. Always oh, ramping up his deep bites. Trying to get me low enough for his uh, all lightning. Huh, he never went for it. Okay. I'm definitely okay with that. He might have not even had it, but chances are he more than likely did have it. Unfortunate that Hive Jirling just really doesn't hit all that hard. It used to be a very, very good pet back in Warlords. Then they changed Shell Armor to last for one less turn. And it was very, especially very good for countering graves because it's an aquatic type, Shell Armor, no call lightning, all that good stuff. So it's a pretty damn good pet. It's still okay nowadays, but just not as good as it used to be. Oh man, very unfortunate with that first trap, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. Alright, this could potentially be the same player and he just swapped over to another all aquatic type team. Hunter Penguin. Alright. Let's go ahead and start out with my Curious Wolvar Pup. Yet again, Banax. Probably the best pet that he's got on his team. Oh, bubble. Let's take that down right away. All 
right, let's go for this mall right here. It'd be fantastic if the trap would go off right about now. Uh, let's punch or switch. I'm thinking switch into Crosswolf Ghost Pup. All right, there's the swarm of flies. All right, I definitely want to take him out so what happened last time doesn't happen again. Because even if trap, you know, the trap wants to be a little bugger again, you know, at least this way, there's no way for him to avoid it, I don't think. Yeah, this frog doesn't have any way to avoid trap itself, so I'm going to go for a haunting song right here. He's, yep, I figured it was just going to finish me off. It's fine. Mostly want to heal that up right there. And then Ghostly Bite actually does more damage, even though it is undead. All right, there we go. A lot of damage. He's going to get hit by that trap right there. There we go. Okay, so Ice Tomb is up in the air. Alteric Brew Pup can reduce the damage of it slightly. All right, tough and cuddly, here we go. Reduce that damage by quite a bit. I will be stunned, but at least I'll have my defenses up. Oh, it looked like the trap lasted an extra turn. That's right, I forgot about that because it went the entire, uh, all those like nine turns, nine or 10 turns and uh, never went off. So he actually got stunned for two turns right there. I completely forgot about that. Oh, thank you for doing that, because that's going to buff up the damage of Avalanche even more. I'm going to wait for my Beast Racial, though. All right, thank you very much. And that Tundra Penguin is going to get torn apart right here. So let's see. Already hitting very hard. Add 25% here. Add another 25% there. So it's basically a Dragon Racial Avalanche. Boom, over a thousand damage. Alright, let's bite right here. Wait, you didn't have Surge? You could have finished me off with Surge if he had it. I guess he had Peck. Oh, thank god. I thought he was going to go for, like, Slippery Ice or something. That would have been terrible. Could you imagine? He went for Slippery Ice and I missed literally every turn and he ended up taking me out. Oh, that would have been awful. All right, doggos, let's go. Keep it going. Alteric Brew Pup, I love this thing. I love this thing so much. It's one of the few pets in the game that actually has Avalanche, which is just a damn good AoE on its own. Uh, Curious Wolver Pup, love it. Crosswolf Ghost Pup, still a very, very solid pet after all these years. All right, all magic types. Ooh, this might be a tough one. See what we can do. Oh, please don't go off while he's dodged. Because two of these pets are able to dodge. This one's able to sweep me out. And he can act it well. I mean, it'd be bad for him, but he can actually activate the trap immediately. Um, let's see. Please don't go off. Are you kidding me? Are you actually serious? Oh my god. Goes the whole nine turns. Two, you know, two different matches, and then the goddamn thing goes off as this guy's dodged. Screw you, Blizzard. Ruin me right there. Okay. Whatever. Let's go for Maul. Off to a horrible start. God awful start. Okay. Is it worth. Yeah, probably. That trap could very much mean the difference between me winning or losing this thing. Alright. Let's scratch right here. 
I anticipate he will just end up going for a dodge anyway. Alright, so he is below that threshold. Is he going to go for another Quills, or is he going to for Burning Curse? Actually, if he triple hits, I die. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course he would triple hit. Of course he did. Alright, I'll tear a group up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose, just... You know, throwing that out there. Enchanted pin has got to be the luckiest pin in the world. Alright, Beast Ratio's active, but I don't think it's really going to matter. He can dodge, he could sweep me out. This is just a terrible, terrible team to go against. All right, let's see if he has sweep. And he had sweep. Yep, that's game. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. Run, dogs. Run. All right. Man, I cannot believe the luck that that guy had with the trap and the triple hits and all that. That's just insanity. I remember many, many years ago, like five years ago, something like that, I, uh... Way back then, I made a team, I think I named a team Who Let the Dogs Out, and it was something similar to this, but not this exact team. And time sure has flown by since then. Alright, so I'm still gonna start out with the Wolvar Pup, regardless of... You know, him dodging and anything like that. All those shenanigans. Stupid shenanigans. Alright. Map trap. Here we go. I just need it not to go off right now. Don't do it to me. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. All right, be stracial. Go. Oh, it'd be really nice if uh, the trap would go off right here. I'm just saying. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so he is below that 35% threshold, so Ghostly Bite actually can kill him. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Definitely not over by any means, but that is a very good start. Went for a wish? What? Why? Okay, that was basically a wasted wish. All right, you do that. Oh, no. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Hydra Wisp also has dodge. Thankfully, did not go off right there. But beautiful time for it to go off right there. Holy crap, what an opening. What an opening. Okay. Uh, Maul will kill. Okay, and that is essentially... A, uh, another wasted wish because I am just gonna throw up snap trap right here <laughs> and he ran away get out of here get out of here okay beautiful I was just gonna throw down another trap probably would have swept me out but whatever pretty sure I would have won by that point oh my goodness get out of here with that strong 
family brawler all magic type team that's a very good magic type team oh Ugh. Oh, uh, how many pets even have foreboding curse? Actually, uh, more than I thought. Where is the enchanted pin? There it is. Yeah, this pet, and I remember back when this was released all the way back in Legion. A pretty good pet. Not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, a lot of the Foreboding Curse users were introduced back in Legion. I think for the longest time, the Ominous Flame here was the only one with Foreboding Curse. That was all the way back in Pandaria on the Timeless Isle. But yeah, I'm trying to remember what that team was all those years ago. Was, I named it Who Let the Dogs Out. I think it was... I think it might have been Crosswolf Ghost Pup. The... What was it? What was the name of that thing? It was the Blazehound. I remember the Blazehound being on that team. And what was the third pet? It might have been the Alteric Group Pup. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. But man, was it a fun team to play. Cheddar. Cheddar, cheddar, cheddar. There's Spand. A very good pet. <laughs> uh, well, Flame Jet. I do like Flame Jet. Ooh, let's see. There's a whole bunch of different dog options that could have gone with for sure. Uh, if you type in pup, you'll actually get way more results. Like the Chaos Pup here, the Cinder Pup, a Core Hound Pup. I thought about taking one of these pups here that could use some elemental damage for mechanicals. So far, I'm not going against any. That is an adorable little animation right there. I like the core hound pup. I think you just have to get the little authenticator in order to get it. Which, why would you not want that? I mean, keep your account safe after all. Curious Wolver pup is an upright dog creature. So, yeah. It was definitely going to be on the team. Bell pop, not that good. Got a little wolfy wolf here. Ditch pop. Oh, I have, I have some not very good memories of this thing. <laughs> oh, I won't bring that up. Ender pop. I like the color of it, but it's just not that good. A war pup, another dog. I wish I had Arfus. Arfus? How do you pronounce? Uh, whatever. Or I was just gonna say Arfus. I wish I had this thing. It definitely would have went on the team right here. Man, it's too bad I wasn't subbed the WoW at that time. Otherwise, I would have done everything in my power to try and get it. Oh no, this player is just playing all sorts of different uh, family brawler teams today, and this is probably the worst one so far. Well, at least I have the Frostwolf Ghost Pup. Oh, he's got AoE. Quite a bit of it. Oh, he's taking Spirit Spikes. Wow. How often do you see a fragment of... Well, yeah, first of all, how often do you see a fragment of anger and uh, one that's taking spirit spikes over soul rush? 
I did not expect that at all. Uh, whatever. I'm still gonna go for scratch. There we go. Oh, crit. All right. On, let me go first. Let me go first and activate his racial. No. All right, let me go first right here with my haunting song because I really want to have my ghost pup as long as possible. Are you kidding me? Seriously, how many times did he go first? Oh my god. All right. Well. Pretty sure, yeah, Ghostly Bite's still gonna do more damage. Okay, we took care of the fragments. A lot of damage to Blight Breath. Oh, he went straight for his Dreadful Breath. He didn't even throw up Acid Rain. Alright. Alteric Brew Pup's gonna take reduced damage from that, so that's fine. He could stay back there. Ooh, trap. Come on, trap. Well, actually, I kind of want to save the trap for uh, the mummy back there because he's got all that undead damage. Oh, well, okay. Well, cannot predict when that will happen, so I'll take it, I guess. Uh, maybe I can get off another trap before I die. All right, goodbye, Blight Breath. Last but not least, the mummy. Go for a mall right here. Hopefully I can get off a trap. There went his Gale Slash. Ooh, that hurt. Okay. Definitely tough and cuddly right away. Oh, he took the mummy wrap. Okay. Well, I'm going to take that down immediately so he doesn't potentially block my trap. Beautiful. There it is. That's what I needed right there. All right. And let's just bite right here. No way he'll be able to take me out in these last couple turns. Beautiful W for my dog team. All right, go ahead and do your little mummy wrap. I dare you. Just, just go ahead and do it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> no mummy wrap. All right. Good job, dogs. You did well. You did very well. All right. I think that will do it for this one. Uh, once again, just all gimmick team once more. I do really enjoy doing these little gimmick teams here. Uh, just all sorts of different variety with the team, so that's always fun. But yeah, this time it was all dogs. Uh, as always, feel free to leave any sort of suggestions that you may have for, you know, gimmick teams like this, and I can definitely look into it. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.